Hello everyone, this is Arkady again from Joki5. Today we're going to do a quick demo video about our new 2024 GT 5120P, a commercial grade 1.2 ton excavator with a Kubota diesel engine and pilot controls. We'll start our walk around from the boom side. Over here you have a standard digging bucket that comes with this machine. Then as one of the first upgrades is that you have a mechanical quick hitch which will allow you to uh, change the buckets without the need to take out the pins. Very easy to do, just pull this lever down. We have a separate video on the quick hitches, how they work. Then you can find the hydraulic thumb. It's a fairly beefy one for the 1.2 ton. We'll show you later how it operates. Uh, because this machine has a hydraulic thumb, we upgraded the uh, auxiliary valves to a three-way. This way, if you want to connect a hydraulic auger or a braking hammer or a tilt bucket, you don't need to disconnect the thumb. You simply uh, flip this knob over here to direct the flow towards the auxiliary attachment. Over here, we have a U-boom upgrade. As you see, your boom cylinder is on top. That adds you extra digging depth plus extra protection in case you're gonna pick, be picking something up with your hydraulic thumb. And when you curl, you're not gonna hit the cylinder over here. You might just hit your boom, and that's a piece of steel that's not gonna hurt. Over here, we have our blade with fold-out uh, sides in order to allow you to make it wider when you're gonna pull out your tracks. So to fold out the sides, you simply pull the spin out and then fold the blade. This machine has expandable tracks. When the tracks are pulled in, it's only 75 centimeters wide, that is under three feet, and you will be able to fit from any Mandor. Uh, that's why it's very popular with contractors that need to be able to get into the backyards of their clients. Unlike many 1.2 ton machines, this one actually has a cast iron counterweight. So all of these parts is a cast iron that will add you extra stability during digging. Here we have our double speed motors. Uh, as you see, the benefit is in addition to the extra speed, we will uh, later show you how it drives and it's very noticeable when you're in the high, high gear, but also it protects the hoses uh, with these covers for your motors. Another important upgrade is the side swim boom. Here you can see a cast steel uh, boom mount uh, that you will not find on the cheaper machines. As a second benefit to the U-boom, uh, your hoses can be run inside the boom itself to protect them from accidentally ripping them out when you work in the bush. As an addition, it looks way neater when you don't have the hoses sticking uh, around everywhere. As usual, all GT5 machines come with lubrication points for every pin. Some of them can be on top of the cylinders. Some can be on the other side. Now let's take a look at the engine compartment. This machine has lots of axes and easy, easy to do. All you do is just lift the seat. And here you'll find your Kubota engine. Here's our Kubota engine as a new feature for the 2024 models. We started adding the uh, battery switches for the overnight to avoid any battery drainage. Uh, as one of the upgrades here, we have triple pump. You can uh, see one hydraulic pump over here. The other one is inside over there. And then the third one is kind of hard to see, but it's here. From this side, we have our radiator, starter, oil filter. This machine has easy controls. Uh, pedal at the bottom here will control your hydraulic thumb. This is your throttle lever. Two joysticks up front or for, for controlling the walking. 
you have two switches for the expendable tracks and double speed motors. Lever on the right here will control your blade and expendable tracks. Then you have your key, ignition, and the pedal for the side swing boom. On the top, you have your regular hydraulic joysticks for the pilot controls and hydraulic locks. Now we're going to move over to the fun part and actually show you how this machine operates. Since it's a diesel, first we need to glow plug it by holding the key to the left for five seconds. Okay, now we can start it. We will lower our hydraulic locks. And uh, to give it more stability, we will pull out the tracks first before we do anything else. To do so, first thing is to swing around. You want to make sure you're straight when you before lifting the machine off the ground. Next, we're going to lift the machine with the blade. Second step is to lift the front of the machine with the bucket. Okay, we're fully in the air. Now we can pull out our tracks. Okay, our tracks are pulled out and we will repeat the steps in reverse to get ourselves back into the ground. Okay, now we're going to add more throttle, we're going to lower our blade for more stability, and let's see how it can move the boom. As you can see, the triple pump does allow it to do multiple movements at the same time. It is a little bit jumpy, but way better than the gasoline one-ton machines. Now let's swing the machine around. Let's try to swing and uh, hold the arm at the same time. Okay. Now let's try to use our side swing boom. Let's use our hydraulic thumb. As you 
see it's long enough to reach the bucket. And it falls out all the way, out of the way. Now we're gonna move the machine. First, we need to lift the plate. And then let's start to drive in the low speed. Next, let's try to do it uh, in the high gear. So we turn on our double speed. Let's see the difference. As you see, the double speed is noticeably faster. Okay, and as a popular request, we will try to do multiple movements with this machine. Uh, since it does not have the foot pedal for driving, uh, I will use one hand to drive the machine and with the left hand I will try to control the cap swing and movement of the arm. Let's see what it can do. First, we're driving straight, add in the cap rotation. And it doesn't do so good. Uh, as we do it, uh, it seems that uh, we're losing some hydraulic flow to one of the tracks and the machine is going off center. Now, let's try to do the same thing, but I will drive the machine with the left hand and try to do a lift or lower the boom and curl the bucket, see what's gonna happen. I'm driving the machine straight. Now let's add the boom movement. As you see, we're starting going off center. And that tells me that, uh, again, one of the pumps controls the track and the boom movement. That's why it doesn't work so good to operate them at the same time. As you see, the GT5120P is a great little machine uh, for the 1.2-ton uh, class. Uh, it made advantage that it can be very narrow, just 75 centimeters, which is under 30 inches to get through the men doors and on the back of the backyards. But if you need to do some heavier work, then we would advise you to move up to bigger machines like GT5200, the two-ton machines that can have the upgraded uh, piston pumps. On this machine, it's just not an option because you need to have the narrow uh, footprint in order to get into the tight spaces. Uh, if you like our videos, like and subscribe. And if you're going to have the questions about our machines, visit joyt5.com or contact one of our dealers. Thank you for watching.